And she is zeroed up, firing on number one. And the vacuum advance nipple there is pointing right at the valve cover bolt. Or not in this case. So there, this is a mental note. Or in case you forget. <laughs> uh, you can set it up and it'll run beauty without even touching anything. Okay. Hmm. Pretty clean. And the water jackets, well, not as bad as I thought they would be. The water pump definitely was caked up. That's a little gnarly in there. Heat riser ports are just starting to carbon up. So this shows you how many miles is on this. Not much at all. Yeah, you can see the heat riser ports there. A little bit of build up. Beauty. No sludge a roo. Don't want no sludge. Well, this was a daily driver. Used it quite a bit. Okay, let's get those heads off. Alright, yeah, I can clean the pistons up. Not that they need too much. Yeah, these two definitely got the most oil. Because, I mean, the carburetor's right here, right? Right in the middle, so glug, glug, glug. And I guess these valves were... Well, no, that's not true, it was running. Anyways, it's, they seem to have taken the majority of the oil. Okay. Well, definitely... Certainly helped out, I'm sure. Uh, you can see how wet they are and on this side. The front one isn't so bad and it gets wetter and these these ones here aren't quite as wet. Okay yeah get rid of these restricted heads. Uh, no, if I'm not mistaken I think I gave it a quick polish here. Mm, it doesn't feel like it. I can't remember it so long ago. 18 years ago. And no, that looks like that looks like stock casting. I guess I didn't. Yeah, a little bit of carbon starting in that one. sell those for a couple hundred bucks hmm. can do that mm -hmm. all righty yeah I can I need to spend another day on these heads get them all ready for the machinist because I'm going in a week to runs so gotta have them ready I should check those seals they should be able to fit on here all right the positive seals there's uh, positive seals for the intake and umbrella seals for the exhaust and o-rings Okay, three nine seven zero one two six. 
vacuum hose that'll go down there and I'll duct tape it to my vacuum. And get rid of some of that junk in there. And I was thinking about it earlier and came with a conclusion that see this one's got the butterfly drain in this web the left side of the of the engine so I drain the water there but something tells me that I didn't on the other side because it doesn't have a drain cock uh, you look down there you can see metal filings that's from for me uh, chasing the threads I think it's pretty clean down there on this bank. See, I, I didn't drain this side of the block because it's got the knock sensor in there. And going by memory, so that's uh, 10 years ago. Something tells me that I didn't. And that's why there's grunge in this side and not the other. No, well, she's all painted up. New bearing in the front there. All sealed good down there. And I was checking out the lifters. There is wear. And I'm thinking, well, maybe I should get a new set of lifters. But, you know, I should really start off with a new camshaft too, so they're made it together. You can sort of see some pits happening in the middle, and I'm sure it's lost its degree of angle there they're crowned on the bottom like one degree or something very minimal to give it a spinning effect so they spin on the cam lobe and then once they're not spinning anymore then then you start getting wear on the camshaft Threads are tapped, chased out. I've cleaned all the holes. Now let's get a vacuum rigged up there. Okay, so we got V V one one zero eight T D L. And I think it's a Nine seven one zero zero two zero. No, nine seven zero three nine seven zero zero two zero. Oh, yeah. 
Hey, that's Becky J right there. Hey. Look at him go. Oh, yeah. Now I'm going to drop my exhaust system and check the headers out, make sure they fit in there good. Oh, overspray. Overspray. Let that one should come off. That'll come off. Let's see underneath. It's going to look dirty after the first trip, for sure. Right, Diggy? Uh-huh. I uh, should get in here and do some touch-up, too. On the firewall. You see the old red paint over there? Get it cracking. Cleaned up pretty good. Here I'm just tapping out the threads there for the head bolts. <clears throat> Especially because this thing was grunged out in the cooling system. Want to get an accurate torque reading. Ah. Stiffies. I just used my drill there where I could, but it's a little too tight here. Until it goes right, it should go right through. And some are really hard to turn. I was worried about breaking it. But they freed up. You can see them nice and shiny now. Yeah, I'm really glad I took the heads off now because, you know, all the... It actually doesn't feel too bad inside. It's like... The head gasket... I think it's a bit of a triangle here, if I'm not mistaken. Here, let's check it out. Oh, those old ones. Yeah, there you go. That one's plugged right up. Well, that's funny, they... Just one little hole. These are larger here. Okay, so... No, same thing. At the bottom there. Yeah, same thing, exactly. Uh, I'm not really sure how that is now. Oh, okay. No, that's not it. See, in the head, you've got these... the cools around the spark plug. And that's actually... one hole on one side so I guess it goes right through uh, so where it was all caked up was these ones here and there there you go yeah that one's totally plugged There's no transfer of coolant there so I guess it's it's circulating this direction and it as I say it just dammed it right up. It's dammed up anyways, but at least the holes were are free. I wonder why that is. I that's a good question. Why they designed it that way to slow down 
circulation. Anyways, I've sanded the deck now with a stone and some solvent. That works really good. You can see the almost like the factory home marks. 69. This block was made. And it had, uh, you know, on a bigger stone. Or that's good. That's right the way it is now. This is a bitch to get on. So, you got to trim. Like the gasket is meant to go on first. Oh, I think it just beeped. No? Oh, that was on the Moody Blues. It's got a little lip. This half moon rubber gasket. It's got a little lip that comes out here and then it fits in a little notch in your pan gasket. So they mate together but you can't, obviously you can't get at that because the pan's on. So you have to modify and pump the silicone on that edge. Because this is a problem area. It always, they leak here. You can see it's washed. Uh, that should fix that. But you got to take the lo locating dowels out and get longer, longer bolts for the two bottom ones here and pull it in as you're, you know, sort of keeping the rubber from popping out. Screw it in slowly on these two. Put a spacer up here so it comes in evenly instead of like that, or, or like that, I mean. Now I gotta get some grease on that seal. Would have liked to put it on first, but it's just more goo, you know, fresh silicone and you get all these gooey things when you're trying to do a hard installation that just trips you up even more. Uh, I think I'll wait to put that on because I can get in there and paint, clean and paint all down in here. Um, I want to do this cross member here, it's just a clean up, I think. You know, in areas down here where, on the build, you can see, you know, and it gets grunged out. It's just right about here, and then it gets good again. And the back here, I can clean all that up and detail it. I can even get some paint down here too. Or clean this up, see what this cleans up like. Yeah, see there? There's the difference right there, I can even get in there make use of why I took this all apart you know down in there the starters out before the headers go on I can paint all the engine you know look like a new engine well kinda that's yeah, now I started tapping these and I gotta take the Doing a lefty, I hate lefties. Thank <laughs> you. 
And you're starting to see those, the, uh, the stone, it's like a big stone that did this back in the day, which is pretty well today too. a good bond in the gasket. Take any high spots down. Oh yeah. 